everyone, I'm Vishali. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make all zen face mask for personal use. So this is a hospital approved face mask and at the end of the video, I will be showing you how you can make this mask more effective by using a filter and which filter you can use. So watch full video and enjoy the simple tutorial to make this mask. And I have shared all the links below in description box that will guide if you have any queries. So let's get into the video. So the very first thing that comes in mind is which fabric we need to use here. So CDC has already recommended to use cotton fabric for face covering. So I'm going to use a pillow cover cotton fabric here. And the second thing is what is the pattern? So in the description box, you can find the link for the Olsen mask pattern. If you have printer at home, you can download the page and print the pattern. But like me, if you don't have printer, then I'll show you how you can trace the pattern. For this, take a paper and place it over the computer screen like this and then trace the basic pattern. But how will you know the size is correct? So in the same website, they have shared the measurement. Just check if the size is correct. If not, then cut bigger pieces using the same pattern and make sure you name all the pieces. So this way you will have three cuttings. So one is face piece and the other is mouth and cheek pieces. Next thing is cutting the fabric. So using the same pattern, I will show you how to cut the fabric. So for this, fold the fabric double and just make sure wrong side face the wrong side of the fabric. Place these paper cuttings over the fabric like this and cut it. This way you will have these three cuttings. So just make sure that you will have two two pieces for each shapes. So here I'm drawing this up line so that I know which side will come at the top. Make such markings on all the pieces the reason for all these marking is just that uh, these face and mouth pieces have nose part at the top so when we stitch these pieces we will know that uh, nose part comes at the top next process is sewing so for this we are taking all the different pieces of the mask and we will sew them differently so this is the face piece that I'm taking here. So first we are gonna sew these two pieces together, the curve shape. Make sure that right side of the fabric should face right side. So we are going to sew this curved edge of the face piece. After you finish the face curved seam, move on to the mouth curved seam. So for this, these are the two pieces. Again, we need to uh, place it like the right side face the right side, just like this. And then we'll sew this curved part. Here, as you see that I'm finger pressing the edges of this mouth piece. So both the sides right and the left you need to finger press the edges and then sew the part now we'll come to the cheek pieces here as you see that uh, I am going to finger press again the edges of these cheek pieces so this is how you need to press finger press and then sew this part and with the right side piece also you have to do the same thing
Let's gather all the pieces and assemble the mask. For this, I'll show you how to join all these pieces to form a mask. So first of all, take the face piece and place it like this so that this nose part should come at the top. Then take the mouth piece and place it over the face piece so that right side face the right side. Here make sure one thing that nose part of the face and mouth pieces should be on top. Match the seam lines near the nose and chin. Now take the cheek pieces and lay it on the face piece like this. So this is the left one and this is the right side piece. Lay it over the face piece like this. Now what we need to do, we'll sew all the edges of this mask so here once you are done with the stitching of the corners you need to cut the excess fabric from the corners just like this and here at the curve size I'm just uh, notching these uh, little parts of fabric so that there will not be bulk of the fabric when we flip the mask Now we need to flip this mask to the right side. For this, start flipping it from the cheek piece and then flip the whole mask. Use any sharp object to properly flip the edges. So after flipping, what we need to do will top stitch all around the outer side of the mask. So the next thing is to attach the elastic bands. For this you need two elastic bands. I am using these two hair bands. You can put on mask and check which place you need to attach the elastic bands. So put the elastic bands on and adjust the edges of the cheek pieces and then sew this part. Now I'll show you how you can seal the nose part. Here we will make a wire sleeve at the nose part that will hold the wire to give a seal. So this is the part, the parallel line that we stitched for the seal of the nose and the elastic bands to hold the mask. Now I'm using a pipe cleaner to go over the bridge of the nose. It help ensure a better seal for the mask. So I'm folding it double and then twisting it like this. So this is how we need to slip it in the nose part. Pipe cleaners are moldable and you can hold it right over the bridge of your nose and your cheekbones. So perfect to seal your nose part. So in the beginning I told you that I'll show you the filter option for the more effectiveness of this mask so CDC recommends using a coffee filter so this is a coffee filter a cone coffee filter and I have shared the link in description box if you have any doubts if you should use these coffee filters for protection or not then you can go on the website and check out there so from the opening of this mask you need to uh, slip this filter inside like this 
adjust the filter inside and tuck the ends of the filter in cheek pieces like this and then this mask with filter is ready and at the end i want to tell you a few more things here that you should remember so the very first thing is that you should just remove the filter and wire before washing the mask the second thing is dispose the filter after use and the third thing is wash the mask in hot water after use so this is how this olsen face mask going to look and this Olsen mask pattern was designed by the medical professionals so to be used when the other surgical and the N95 masks are not available. So most agrees that this is the best pattern available for the homemade face masks. So I hope you guys use this and with the coffee filter this is more effective. But if you still have doubt using such masks, then you can go through the description box where I have shared all the links if you should use such masks or not. It will guide you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay home.